Hello again, hello again, and welcome back to another episode of Saucy Rossi's Barbecue Kitchen. Today, I made a homemade barbecue blueberry sauce, and I threw it on some chicken thighs. I'm going to show you how I did it. We'll start by talking about getting your chicken ready for the barbecue. Give it whatever dry rub you really want. In this case, I used a Carolina dry rub, one of my favorites. And then we'll go ahead and make this sauce. Now this sauce is a couple different pieces. We'll start by making a blueberry puree. Two cups of blueberries, three quarters of a cup of sugar, one cup of water, and you're gonna blend and strain that liquid. Now that we've got a blueberry puree, you're gonna get your favorite barbecue sauce and your favorite hot sauce. And we're gonna add four parts barbecue sauce to two parts blueberry puree to one part hot sauce. Give it a good mix and then set that aside. Now coming back to cooking the chicken, we're gonna put it on the kettle grill right above the heat, skin side down, and we're gonna cook that for just about a minute and a half or so. It's really important to pay close attention here. This can burn very quickly. As you can see there, the flames are starting to kick up. You really need to pay attention. Now, as you pay attention and you see the grill marks forming on the skin, get ready to flip over the chicken. You can see I do it here in just a moment. And then we're gonna cook the underside of the chicken as well. We wanna make sure we have both sides sealed off nicely. But again, it's really important to make sure nothing is burning because at this point we are directly above the heat and one misstep can burn the piece of chicken. So do be careful. Now, while your skin was down, if you do really care about the presentation of your chicken, it is good to rotate it about 90 degrees halfway through the skin side down phase. That should give you a beautiful crisscross pattern in the chicken skin and really help with the presentation of the meat. Now, as you can see, I'm checking the underside as it cooks and nothing's burned off yet, but it has finished cooking on the outside. So I've moved it off the heat and this is now where we start to let it cook. So at this point, the thighs have been sitting on the barbecue for about 15 minutes inside about a 450 uh, degree grill. They are almost cooked through. At this point, they're sitting at about 145 degrees. So I've started just kind of slopping on some of this sauce. And as you can see, I'm being generous and I strongly suggest you be generous as well. And so over the next 10, 15 minutes or so, I'm gonna go on with a few more layers of sauce. You can see here, I'm kind of building it up. Every other layer of saucy glaze we get on there is only gonna build the taste profile. So it's really important to not let it burn by having it off of heat, but having multiple layers so it's a good, thick, well-applied sauce. By the way, doesn't this look friggin' delicious? I use some sweet and sticky barbecue sauce for my base. Sweet and sticky is my favorite for barbecue sauce, and oh my gosh, it's just, ugh. At this point, I was standing over my grill and literally like drooling. I wanted to grab it and just eat it right off of there. But anyway, safety, right? All right, all right, all right. So we've made it. We have now an internal temperature of 165 degrees. The sauce is tacked on there nicely. We have a couple layers built. It's looking fantastic. These are just about ready to pull off the grill with a beautiful layer of sauce from blueberries from my home garden. And here's a shot of the final product. Honestly, my camera didn't really focus the best here, but still, you get the picture. These were to die for. If you found this video helpful at all, make sure to like and subscribe. I pump out barbecue content all the time and I am here to help you out. Thanks again.